it's gone. It had nothing to do with anything we were talking about. Egg laying and chest. Oh, it was just a complete. Got it. Remembered it. Out there thought. Yep. Crazy random happenstance. No, don't auto correct me. I know what I spelled. I know what I did. I know what I did. <laughs> Oh, my legs are sore. It was leg day yesterday. I had trouble standing this morning. Like, went hard, hard. It was nice. It was very good. That's the one thing I'm really excited about being back in the meat department is I don't need to go to the gym because I get 16,000 steps a day and spend all day throwing 80 pound boxes of chicken. Classic. Like, I can already see my arms are less fat than they were. Like, yeah. And it's only been like three weeks. And I'm like, oh, there's a noticeable difference already. Fuck yeah. So. Oh, yeah. It's a good feeling. It is. It is. Like, you can't see it really. Oh, man, I can fucking feel that <laughs> shit. It's there. I'm like, yeah. The biceps are coming. <laughs> Buys and tries. Buys and tries, baby. Buys and tries. <laughs> you can try to get by, but you can try. <laughs> Have you seen that? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can try to get. Oh, what is it? No, it's. it's so how do you? How does he do it? Oh, it's. You can try, try. to get by, but you'll get tricked. <laughs> It's the dumbest fucking thing, but I love it. <laughs> you just walked into Welcome Back to Mad King, everybody. Oh, yeah, that was on stream. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was... <laughs> Got all that. Oh, Flip man. it. <laughs> and now I turn red. We're going to be popular now. That was cool. And now I become one make... of the new Bad Luck Bryant memes. If anyone is going to make a clip of anything. <laughs> Oh, Emotional damage. <laughs> you found it? Yeah. It was old as fuck, man. I did that from like my childhood memories. I pulled that out of some deep shit. Is that The Rock? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. That's cringy as shit. I'm not crazy. It, it was real. <laughs> Very cringe. <laughs> Yeah. It's the morning. Can Third we, day. Can Uzul try to fight one of these huntresses? Do they got? Not respectfully, probably. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. And <laughs> there's one of these guards. Show me what you got. Like one of the palace guards. I don't know. Anybody around? It's really just like normal servants that are hanging out around you. You see every now and then like a palace guard kind of walking about, but they seem to be on other business. They don't pay you any mind. You'd have to like actively go intrude on their day. So I piss them off enough that they try to fight me and then get the spark. So we were just talking about bad decisions on this end you're of like, the table, and you're like, I've been such a good boy like, this whole time. I'm gonna go do worse <laughs> ideas. No, it's cool. So we all just want to ask, and if they say no, they say no. I'll just and you walk up, myself. you just like approach one of the royal guards as they're walking around. Yeah, sure. They stop and kind of look at you for a second, and just kind of coldish look. Yes. One's part. They turn and walk away. Oh. You okay. try with like a couple of them. Yeah. That is the average response. Okay. Sometimes they are polite enough to say no. Okay. Or I'm busy. Okay. Well, we'll be here for the rest of the day, so. As they're walking away, you can mention that. Yeah, <laughs> you wanna? I'll be here. <laughs> smash this training dummy. <laughs> yeah, you go back outside and smash the training dummy, and you just hear, ooh, cold. Poor form. Boy is back. <laughs> oh. So, you talk to your friends about it? Not yet. You said you were going to talk to him about it last night. I won't lie, I forgot. But I'll ask him before we leave. You have some bigger issues, okay? Of course. Yeah, the halfling was baking a cake and trying to escape. It was, it, it was a whole thing. But I, I, I'll ask. When? Because, like, I heard that you guys were just waiting for Tequila to come into town and she's going to be in town this afternoon and you're going to have your talk with her and then I heard that you guys were bouncing. Uh, okay, give me a second. I'll, I'll, I'll go ask right now. I'll just... Where are you? What are you doing in the morning? Um, I would be enjoying a lovely morning mimosa sitting on the terrace. It's Ellie! <laughs> Oi! Can I finish? 
Beverage. My fucking morning beverage? Oh, yeah, I was just looking for you. So, one of the huntresses wants to go with us, and I'm trying to determine if that's a bad idea. She's a short one that your mom yelled at me for conversing. There's hint number one. Oh, the one that's not... She's not a huntress, but yes, uh, I know who you're speaking of. The blue-haired one? Yeah, with a bug. Um, why? She wants to travel, and uh, I don't know. She feels like a failed huntress, and she wants to, I don't know, bounce. That sounds pretty familiar. Yeah, yeah, she can come. I mean, we should probably, like, you know, make sure that other people are aware of this. Like, other. Yeah, that's why I wanted to ask you. I don't want to, you know put tension on the alliance. Also, that uh, mom that we've been talking to really thinks you're special. And, I don't know. Ain't my place to patch old wounds, but, I don't know. She seems real set about why. Wants to form some sort of relationship. Fuck that other one, though. She seems like a cut. So, if you're telling me right now, your family, the Vikels, were like, hey, sorry we kicked you out and didn't love you. Oh no, I'm killing all of them. Exactly. <laughs> Why are we entertaining this silly conversation? Damn, damn. I was kind, I offered an alliance, that's... Not I... entertaining shit, just passing on what I heard. But anyway. <laughs> Alright, cool, yeah, we should talk to one of the big ones. See about this small one. Okay. The two you go to find, Mom? No. I will mm. wait until other mother is here. Okay. Oh. She's the Do one you... who is actually in charge. Okay. Do you tell me that? Yeah. Okay. Because I would have just gone and found the other one and be like, hey, question. Do I steal that Huntress? Not Huntress? I don't know. Yeah, that's... But we'll wait. Yeah, you... maybe we don't say it like that. Okay. Yeah. So I asked this one. Not from around here. Do you follow those instructions or you just. Mm, no. I'll just go train, and I'll let Cloud Girl know that I asked. Party's down, but oh, great! So I can come. Got to get permission from the big ones first. So what do you? Who's the big ones of your party? Are you not? I thought you kind of like were in charge of things around here. I like to think so, but no. The <laughs> the the, uh, the the queen's parents of that one, Huntress, Belly. Why? I don't know. She said that we should probably ask. Well, they're not in charge of me. They're not in charge of you. No. Grown ass man. Exactly. We're all adults here. Yeah, I'm. I'm down. I don't give a shit. Well, let's I'm just go honest. then. Why? Why bother? Why bother bringing it up? Well, we. I can't. We can't leave right now. We have to wait for Alliance. Well, shit. of course, of course, we gotta wait. Right, you gotta, you know, wait for Alliance. I'm gonna go pack my bag. Okay. And, uh, you know, you don't need to worry about telling them or anything. I'll just come back. You'll meet me back here after your meeting tonight or whatever. And we'll go. You're just accepting this? <laughs> yeah, she's being honest and truthful. I don't give a shit, and we're going to inform the mothers anyways, so, like... No sense motive? No? No nothing? You know what? You bring it up, so why the fuck not? <laughs> Where's my sense motive? All right. God Oof. damn, this Oof. this is hurting me. Uh, fifteen. Super truthful. Nothing sus. Okay. Well, why worry about it? I already told Adele, and I went back to the training, so it's gonna get asked anyways. You uh. Any your sport talent? Yep. Make your roll. All right. What in the fuck? Um. Ten. Insufficient. Makes sense. DCs have a base of ten. <laughs> <laughs> For next time. For next time. Morning mimosa. Mm -hmm. Far away? Yes, ma'am. So I think I've got my escape plan. <laughs> so the next time any of us do anything chaotic, you have zero room to talk. You have like three hours until this meeting. 
Yeah. I was told it was on house arrest. What if they don't let me go? What if they just make me stay in the house? <laughs> it's not a possibility I can take. What if the ink's already dried by then? So, uh... So yeah, like, how, like, like, there's like a, like a can of sorts. Can Harway use the restroom? Is there like an outhouse? It built in bathroom. Beautiful. Is it like, got like privacy? <laughs> how much do you insist? Uh, pretty thoroughly. Here's a shy peer. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's willing to like, stand in the room with you, but turn the other way. Perfect. That works. Perfect. I don't have to waste the spell then. <laughs> Disappear yeah. as you flush the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, he like set himself on the john. And you just. <laughs> when he exhales, enters the etheric state. Yeah, you, uh, you go ghost. <laughs> and. As you're pitter pattering by, you just hear. Oh no. And there is a scream. And how far can you how you just casual pitter patter? Skedaddering along? Yeah. I mean I wanna stick so the the plan actually revolves around me not being ethereal for very long. Uh -huh. I'm gonna stick around the guest house for a while. How long do I have? I got a good couple of minutes. Um and I wanted to see if they disperse, like to look for me. If so, how many? I'm assuming not all of them. There is, there is a brief, like, the door is crashed open and, like, five of them pour in, look at each other, and one of them immediately closes his eyes and begins to chant. Oh, shit. I need a will save. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Hey, I'm pretty good at those. Not that good at them. That is a 17. 17? Yeah. <laughs> not 18? Uh, what's it against? It is against being purged from the ethereal realm and becoming material again. Well, unfortunately, I spent a prestige. <laughs> not on a save, no. And not after the roll yeah. either. We'll, we'll take it then. Yeah. Pop out. You, the yeah, you. Probably. <laughs> you feel this wave just smack you and you become whole once more. And the guards are all looking around and they just like lock with you and immediately like come up. And one of them comes up with just this tired ass look and he pulls out this ring. And he goes, asshole. <laughs> Put it on. I don't think this is gonna go how you want it to go. Put the ring on. So listen, I got a whole library to get down to. Listen to me. We got three goddamn hours <laughs> until you're, you're not my problem. fucking problem. <laughs> I knew it. Put on the goddamn ring. And if you want some books, by the gods, we will fetch them for you. Just sit your 80 pound ass <laughs> in a chair and stop doing things. Doing what's it? What's it do? Put on the ring. Not to tell me what it is. It's an anti-magic ring. It's going to take away your ability to do that again. And I will take it off the minute that I don't have to watch you anymore. Hmm. No. There is no. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping through his spell book to see what he's got. <laughs> you have six seconds to put on the ring, or it will be put on you. Do you think I can hold it before it actually activates? None of us are there. <laughs> I'm going to grab it, like to slip it on, uh -huh. and try to channel my uh, transmutation energy from the ley line into the ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need a circumstance roll. Oh, god damn it. 
just asked you to stop doing things, man. Is Haraway about to not be a halfling again? <laughs> well, this ring is going to be something. <coughs> 26. 26 out of 100? Yeah. I need a D8 roll from you. Okay. Okay. Seven. Seven. You close the ring into your palm, and your green swirls on your arm glow for a brief moment. He, like, looks up surprised. All the guards just, like, shoulders shrug for a moment, and then they get really fucking tense as fists are being raised. And you open your hand, and there is a sizable gem sitting in your palm. What? <laughs> the ring is no more. Beautiful. It has been completely transformed into this crystal. Okay, yeah. I pocket it, but I make like no move to, to go anywhere. Yeah, you you pocket it, and as you look up, the first fist connects with your face. <laughs> I am going to let you know right now, you do not stand a chance in this fight. Do you? No, absolutely not. <laughs> resist? Yeah, no, I'm just gonna Stop take it, you know? Stop <laughs> resisting! It's, it's a 17 on one fight. Even if we were like above level, I'm not making it out of this room. <laughs> you, you spend the next half day wonderfully unconscious. <laughs> Listen, he only gets in so much shenanigans, right? <laughs> Every day. Yeah, he's fairly tame compared to most Just go ahead and put yourself at zero hit points for the time being. <laughs> yeah. As it was all non-lethal damage, mm. thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> Just got jumped. <laughs> it should have happened sooner. Oh, fuck it, eh? They're professionals. I should fight these guys. I should see if one of them want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are guys that like completed all the rights. You know, they've they've got everything to a T. And I like peek back at the guest room to say I forgot something. It, 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 there is, you know, the point where it is announced that your mother is returning soon. You would be informed, and you come back to the guest house, and Haraway is just bound, and there is a collar around his neck and he is woefully unconscious bruised all to hell and there are just guys just standing just <laughs> hovering over him finally got sick of his shit huh too many escape attempts were made and he destroyed a very powerful magical item oh. <laughs> yep that that sounds about right well how was your training sir Pretty good. About to go, I don't know, talk with Big Mama. It may be a few hours. You might wish to freshen up, perhaps change into something more regal. <laughs> something <laughs> more. Noble. Something more. <laughs> Just more. That's what I said armor's for. I mean, I could shine this up. I don't know. Perhaps not. I understand it is a war council, sir. However, dinner and drinks, fancy palace. So I leave the helmet off. Really close. Oh, God. Um, Shoes instead of greaves? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. We'll meet in the middle. Um, if I can get either one of you guys or somebody else to really polish up this breastplate, then I'll find something fancy-ish to wear underneath. Fair? If that is how you wish to do this, we will dress the halfling. Oh. He's already got some swagger, bro. Your stuff will be handled. This stuff needs clean. Your armor is polished. He is part of your crew, is he not? Me. He's like, he please say no. <laughs> he left for a while and, and came he back. Like cannot be released like... from our custody unless it is into yours. <laughs> oh, I don't want him back in my custody. You guys see how he is. Well, yeah. He'll... Then perhaps and shit. <laughs> we shall talk to the mistress. 
and see. You did want to go through all the rights. <laughs> As I'm walking out. <laughs> yeah, you go, uh, you get your armor polished, you get some kind of form of fancier clothing. Do you dress up as all, at all? No. Cool. <laughs> a couple more hours pass, and you are all summoned to the main hall. Haraway is dressed in like this really fancy regal stuff. He is still beaten unconscious. He's still asleep. They have makeup they are, to cover the boots. They are standing <laughs> over him. And as they're standing over him, the collar is removed. One of them waves his hand and casts some sort of, of spell. And the bruises dissipate. And his face returns to normal. And they pull out this little white tube and they break it in half and wave it under his nose. Smell salt. And Haraway... You regain consciousness. <laughs> hey, fucking, you fucking, come on at me. That... <clears throat> and they all look at you, and they're all in fancy dress, and they go, My lord, we have been told to escort you to the Grand Hall. Please. <laughs> After you. But where's my clothes? They've been laundered at least. Oh, cleaned and pressed, sir. <sighs> Thank Only God. the finest. Well, that's fine for now, I guess. Uh, let's... Pitter patter then. So I guess I I'll have, be pittering, but so I have like my breastplate's been like polished. It's looking nice. It is, yes. Um, Pristine. I'm also, and I don't know if this is a bad idea, but I think it's a good idea. Also, want to have like my big ass demon skull because if anybody's <laughs> gonna, if anybody's gonna like appreciate the hunt, these people. You just like gonna? <laughs> no, it'll be it'll be attached. It'll be attached. Oh, your your pauldron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. not the new one. No, 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 no. That okay, thing. Okay. I, didn't, I don't carry that around. <laughs> that's that's chilling it's at the bar until, very I, have, big. until yeah. I have something. I was like, I didn't know that you had that. <laughs> yeah, man, I just carry it around you now. This Set tower it shield plus. It's his security blanket. We gotta get you like in the <laughs> enlarged sleeps, sleeps with it and sucks his thumb at night. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You are brought to the grand hall. There are a couple other unfamiliar faces as a decent amount of these seats are filled much more proper war council kind of thing and the head of the table next to it sits it's Tilly and at the head of the table no one you are all led in shown seats you have a special seat at the far <laughs> opposite end of the table it's a booster chair with the there strap. is a booster seat <laughs> and there is indeed a seat belt if you so desire to use it however they do not strap you in the safety device <laughs> i believe they would strap him the in. guards give a quick bow like and one, one leans in very close as he is like scooting your chair and he scoots into your ear and he goes god that felt good and they leave I'm one v one this man before I leave. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Jeffrey's going down. A little bit of time passes. <laughs> some food is brought out and passed around. There is some light talk. Some of the huntresses around introduce themselves to you. None of these names matter. <laughs> uh, but they are all captains from local regions. They are captains that were part of your mother's entourage coming back into town from the capital and stuff. They are coordinators, map makers. And after a little while, your mother is announced. And Tequili makes her way in shorter than your other mother. She commands a respect and presence about her. Sits down at the head table, looks about, and says, I would like to announce the rousing success of my daughter's secret mission of deep penetration into the Mad King's land. It's Zeli, congratulations on the completion of your rights. You are now a full-blooded huntress. The taking on of this special mission, yeah, there's, there's like a little bit of light clapping. The taking on of this special mission was not easy and has not treated you well. And returning to this secret mission to see it through, whereas it was not your mother and my's choice, 
we respect your decision to leave once more and to see this through to its end. You have brought much honor to the house. Can I just like... I didn't know you were a super spy. Can I just like... <laughs> yeah, me neither. Can I just put like a hand on like Zelly's leg, just like... <laughs> it's Tilly is jittering. When she, and when she like <laughs> goes to grab her hand, she pulls away. <laughs> And leaves. I stand. <laughs> I reject your rights. I am not a huntress, as made clear by you. I was not on a secret mission sent by you. This had nothing to do with you. However, our war party would be interested in making an alliance with you and your people. She sets her goblet down, <laughs> looks at you with that same cold look as always, as your other mother flees the room crying. So we're going to do this the hard way as usual. Hard-headed, free-spirited, I appreciate. Downright stupid, really. Reject the rights. Reject the whole cover story. Yep. Do as you desire. Oh, have you seen your other daughter yet, by the way? The one who lost half of her face and I saved from a dungeon and brought her back to you? I've been told. Yeah? Good. Maybe you should go check on her. That'd be a cunt. Oh, <laughs> she'll be fine. She's completed her rights. I haven't. And I won't. Ceiling is very. You are correct. Ceiling like. Yeah. The huntresses are interested in your forward position in the Mad King's land. If you manage, by some miracle, to provide a bridge from our land in past the Legion Wall, you may be reinforced. We will be. In Queen contact. Lucille will be told, and an emissary will be sent to you shortly. I am sure. Excellent. Um, when we devise a plan, we will let you know and expect your assistance. You also, may do that. we are taking one of your untrained, not yet huntresses, Moira, with us as an advisor for dealing with your people. She, like, looks at her head advisor sitting at her other side. She's like, who? She's like, I don't know. Like, so she clearly doesn't matter to you. She'll be coming with us. Right, whatever. Be gone from my hall before you are removed. The whole party's here? Yeah. Moira wouldn't be here though, right? No. No? Moya. 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 Sorry, not Moira. Overwatch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. I turn and leave. And I summon two swarms of bees on my way out and leave them in there. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a couple of squeals. They can handle it. Harley yeah. fills with the strap on the booster chair because he tied it. <laughs> he thought we were going to be there a lot longer. And he's like... <laughs> Everybody's left, and you're just like sitting there, like, <laughs> waving over to one of the waving over to one of the servants, like, just pick it up, just pick it up. <laughs> the servants are all looking at you with just like this sly smile on their face, like, I'm sorry, sir. What do you need? I can't. Yes, for it. And you just. Goes ghost. Yeah, you just like melt past it. <laughs> and they just. <sighs> Where do you go? I just walk out and scream Mo Moya. Moya. Moya, really loud. A little bit of time passes and a girl materializes near you. Um. Is that an angry shout or like a <laughs> we're going shout? No, we're going, kid. We'll oh, go. thank Christ. I'm sorry I hadn't <laughs> met you yet. I, I'll get used to it. You do seem angry. <laughs> and you get used to it. She goes and stands next to you. Yeah, I toss my remaining god coin in the air. Yeah, you go into your pocket, and as you go to flip, you hear a scream come from the main temple. It is your sister. Yeah. And go investigate. That's fine. I got to get my clothes anyway. <laughs> yeah, 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 you got to have, like, some of your stuff back there. East is like, oh, no, there's a jar of Nutella that I got to grab. 
Kenosi's just like sitting now with Moya, like. Uh, you guys also did not summon the great druid Tim and Nvidia yet. <laughs> He's a killer. <laughs> She's going. She's pissed. Uh, yeah, you go to the temple, and as you walk through, Zuma is on her knees, wailing and looking towards the ceiling. And as you look up, you see your mother, it's Tilly, is hanging by her neck from the second story balcony. Just back out. Not an oozle problem. Well, that's one way to stop all of that. Maybe it wasn't the best time to go ghost. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sus. <laughs> kind of sus. There's, there, there's not a lot to be said. I just, in the chat. <laughs> I just gently quietly walk up behind Zuma and just pat her on the shoulder. Yeah, she, like, collapses and onto the floor. Hang in there, kid. And I leave. I, there's not much for me here. There isn't? Nope. You guys go. Uh, I thought I hated my family. <laughs> do you leave, did you leave a sending stone number by any chance? With Oozle. anybody, Oozle would have in the yeah. She wanted have. She she's mad. So that an emissary could contact you more immediately. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You gather all of your stuff. They're the peeps. You head out of the temple just as now some of the now the news has reached the main party. You see people are beginning to scramble. Guards are making their way up the stairs as you guys are walking down. And you go collect NVIDIA and Tim. You flip your coin in the air, and Yanus takes you back to bronze. Mm -hmm. Back to the Bailey. You poof in. One child richer. One child richer. She's like 18. One mother She's poor. 18. She's just short. She is very short. <laughs> one mother down, one to go. Getting there. Progress. Save it's the wrong one. It's like, the weak one. And all of your apprentices are currently sharing dinner, laughing, it's a good small making, for, making friends. <laughs> you see Mo with a smile on his face as his lips have been repaired. Nice. Eating food. He still is going in between shots of the mask to make sure that he doesn't disintegrate the table. That's appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> and perhaps you'll talk about this later. Perhaps it will never be brought up again. But uh, you have made contact with the Huntresses. Haven't you? You have gotten rid of your bitch sister. Mm -hmm. So many problems are solved. So many problems solved. We've got 99 problems, but that bitch ain't one. Yeah, shit happened. <laughs> and when we come back next week, we will do a little deciding on where we go from here. Ironically enough, this just so happens to have been the day of your sister's funeral. Mm. Eerie. <laughs> Strange how that works out. Invasion's coming relatively soon. Yeah. Maybe some of your friends have some updates for you about that. We will handle that days. next time. Thanks for coming by, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Ending on a very positive. You're still here. Video's over, but uh, while I got you, like and subscribe. Consider following us over on Twitch.